What a role-playing game from Japan! What'll they think of next? Cartoons with giant robots? Life blossoms and grows everywhere. Someday, I would like to go there myself. It's not that Mimana IR Chronicle stands out from the sea of thousands of other Japanese role-playing games. What makes this game interesting is that it's on the PSP. Because frankly, the PSP does not get that many of these games. There's a lot of them for the DS, so it's nice when any RPG-style game makes its way to the Sony PlayStation Portable. And while this one is not really exciting, it's a nice way to pass the time. Watch out, guys! I'm pretty amazing, you know! <laughs> RPG adventure style games make nice additions to the catalog for any portable game console because they're nice games to take on the go. They don't require that much concentration, you can save frequently, they're easy to play on the bus or the train, and they take a long time to play. I actually found this game to be relaxing. It does take a while to get into it though. When you start learning some of the characters' backstories, and why they act the way they do, then it, then it starts to kind of come together. It has a nice presentation on the PSP, it's a bright colorful game, fills the screen nicely, and uh, pretty much all the combat is button mashing. And most of the adventure takes place in mazes. It's a big dungeon crawler, and can be a bit of a grinder because you do have random encounters frequently, sometimes with rather unusual creatures. Other times you're fighting quivering jello molds, but I like the giant sheep. Watch out, guys! I'm pretty amazing, you know! Seems about right. While you can pull off magic spells and stuff, you'll spend most of your time just hacking and slashing everything that gets in your way. You start the game off with two characters, Crace and Sophie. It starts off the whole story. Sophie hires Crace, who's a mercenary. All right, let's uh, go meet your client. <laughs> and as you play the game, more people join your party. I found that it did take a while to get into the game, though, and just figure out its its whole thing. So what? And you wonder why I hate kids. Crace obviously hates kids at the beginning because he mentions it every single time he opens his mouth. So this unlikely pair begins this long adventure searching for seven gems. Now our journey begins! I'm so excited! And you're off. Many, many hours of fighting and dungeon crawling await you in Mimana IR Chronicles. Now that's an awkward moment. Lady, your eyeballs are bigger than your feet. The story is told through some anime cutscenes, mostly dialogue spoken and written out on the screen. You saw me naked. Uh, uh, well, you see, this is really just a big mistake. Yeah, so, so what it really comes down to is this game has chicks with green hair, sexual innuendo, and skeletons with swords. Wrapped within a Japanese RPG-style adventure game. With some anime, if all of that appeals to you, Mimana IR Chronicles is your game. Did I mention there's lots of dungeon crawling? Play this game with a pencil and paper. Make make maps along the way so you don't backtrack. I made that mistake a few times. And it takes a while to walk anywhere because you're constantly fighting giant lobsters and things. So if you have a PSP, you can find this one on the PlayStation Network, available for download. Now, return the master key. Feigned ignorance will not help you. And there you have it, a very straightforward game where you hack and slash your way through enemies, including giant chickens. I think the designers were hungry when they made this game. Seriously, think about it, you're being attacked by sheep, chickens, and jello. That's like a three-course meal. They should have finished it off with a giant bottle of root beer. 